It's okay. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here at the Lauer stand at the photography show here in NEC. And I'm here with Michelle and Hi. we're going to talk about the uh, brand new 10 millimeter F28 lens. So yes. could you just talk to me a little bit about this lens? Okay. What led you to produce this lens and you know what's what's great about this particular lens? Okay, so as you know, this is our 10th anniversary this year. Yep. So we launched this lens as a celebration. And yes, this is our first autofocus lenses for Sony E and also Nikon concept. And it's now the world widest f2.8 lenses, yeah. which is a linear lens for full frame camera. So I think it is super amazing that we have built a lot of 0D lens, and yes. the zero distortion lenses, and this is one of it. And it also comes with a 12 centimeter close focusing distance, so people can do a lot of different kinds of versatile use. That's of incredible. Lens. Yeah, they can do like landscape, and also some of the reverse, they will use it for portrait, yeah. ultra wide portrait, for some weird I mean, that would be crazy to do a yes, wide portrait yes. like that. And of course, to do a lot of like nighttime photography, yeah. or the astro photography. Fantastic. What are the chances I can quickly take this lens around here, take a few pictures, and then, uh, you know, show some of the sample images to our audience? Uh, I think I can, if you want to have the lens, I can walk around with you to see how Perfect. you like it. Perfect, let's do that. I can also take some footage with you using the lenses and the post through our channel Ab Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, sure. let's do it. Okay. So I'm just taking a few test shots with uh, the 10 millimeter and what's nuts is I'm like a meter, maybe less than a meter away from Michelle and I can do a full body shot, like this is crazy. <laughs> And then if I get closer, obviously the distortion is going to be a bit nutty, so probably not a good idea. It's not going to produce any flattering results, but you can get really close because of the 12 centimeter minimum focus distance. So how close is that? Oh my God, I can, I can get closer. Holy shit. Wait, am I too close? I can't tell. Well, it's almost hit on me. But wow, it's still, it's still focusing. This is not a good picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> One of the things that I've noticed is that this lens doesn't have image stabilization. Now, that might not be a major problem because many mirrorless cameras do have IBIS in them, but do you think this lens would have been better off with image stabilization built into it because I think this would be a great option for vlogging as well, considering how close you can focus, the fact that it's got autofocus and the fact that it's so incredibly wide, this could make a really good vlogging lens. And maybe, what do you think? Do you think IBIS could have been a better option? Uh, by now, we never, uh, we haven't heard about having the IBIS for these lenses. And I think it's not a usual process for us to have this in the lens, but I think it's still good enough for doing vlogging with all those yeah. the handheld stuff. And because the lens, I, I think you can feel it's very light. Yes. yes. It's about 420 grams only. It's, it's very so, light, yes. It's so light that you can still maintain it with one hand, even for girls, and to make sure it's a bit stable for your video shooting. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to test this uh, lens for vlogging, so we're going to walk around the, v the photography show. Okay. Let's see, because there's two of us over here, so maybe we can vlog into the camera and, okay. uh, you know, let's see what, you, let's see, let's see what kind of sure. results it produces. Yeah. Okay, so there's three of us. It's me, you and Alex. It's one lens. Okay. I can't see because this screen, unfortunately, doesn't flip out. It's the older okay. A7R III. However, I'm going to vlog with this and I'm hoping that it should be we are should we should be it should be frame. it should be okay yes. because it's such a wide lens yes. that it doesn't really matter so while we're filming this and walking around you know i think this should be fine like i'm confident it's yeah. capturing absolutely everything absolutely. so we can just yeah. walk it's, around and vlog into the lens limited, and so it's, it's not a problem yeah. <laughs> alex needs a wider lens <laughs> One of the things I loved about the 10 millimeter lens from Lawa is the fact that you can produce images with a completely unique perspective. Because of the extremely wide focal length, the close focusing distance, the images you can produce are probably going to be extremely difficult to produce with any other lens currently on the market. Additionally, the image quality from this lens is fantastic. When you're shooting wide open, the center sharpness is brilliant, the details are crisp, the images look clear, and there's a good deal of contrast as well. In the corners, there might be a little bit of fall off in terms of sharpness, but 
I don't think that's a major problem considering just how wide this lens is. The only problem that I noticed with this lens or potential problem that I noticed with this lens is that there does seem to be a little bit of distortion uh, with the 10 millimeter focal length. I don't think it is a perfectly zero distortion lens as you can tell over here on the horizontal lines. However, this image was not taken in a controlled setting so this point does need to be taken with a massive pinch of salt. Nonetheless, I think this is a fantastic lens and we will be trying to get hold of a review unit so we can do a proper review and test everything about this lens and show you how this lens performs, especially compared against the 12mm f2.8 lens. In the meantime, thank you for watching, hit the like button, subscribe and we hope to see you all in the next one. Thank you. Wait, are you getting vertigo from looking at the... <laughs> You're getting vertigo from looking at the lens?